You've been single for almost four years now and can barely remember what it feels like to be considered. Considered as a choice, considered as a treasure, considered as a person that is capable of adding to somebody's life instead of sucking the life right out of them. You have found you're often just an option, an experience, a story, an inconvenience, or just another temporary challenge to get into bed. At first, you were fine with all of this because you're the mayor of it is what it is town and not looking for anything serious. But at a certain point, you had to admit that you were lying to yourself. Of course you want something fucking serious and meaningful and life-changing. Isn't that the whole fucking point? You are not interested in fluff piece romance, but do not judge those that are. It's just not interesting to you. It lacks depth. So you did what any sane person would do and you just deleted all of your dating apps. This happened a few months ago and you have felt such a sense of peace. You also feel way better about yourself because you found that the vast majority of people you were meeting on apps were either ethically non-monogamous or trying to force no strange sex on you in the most arrogant way. It almost felt cultish and you found these personalities to be just as rigid and insufferable as people wanting to settle down after a few dates. Both extremes made you feel suffocated and unseen because it became very clear that you were dealing with people that were not bothering to get to know you. You noticed how many people were totally fine with settling for the wrong person just because it was the right time for them. You also couldn't help but notice that this is probably why most relationships don't work out. How could they when it really has to do with the person and everything to do with the timing? You can't think of a worse or more predictable way of living because you like a wild card. You like it when your plans change. You love a surprise, surprise. There's a great comfort in that because you don't want to write the entire plot line for your story. Sometimes you want to sit back and read it and shake your fucking head at what the protagonist got themselves into. Don't hate the reader, hate the book, my friends. You also do not wish to shop for human beings like an Amazon order that will end up in a landfill because you needed something in that moment to meet a certain need that means absolutely nothing and adds zero value to your life in the long run. You don't even shop for clothing that way and always prefer a piece you didn't even know you wanted but have to get because you've never seen anything like it before and will keep it forever. Why would you treat people any differently? You have zero hang-ups about being completely alone forever or mildly inconvenienced for now because the timing isn't great, but the person is worth it. When a person is worth it to you, you're not looking around for other people. You would argue that one person is rich and complex enough that it can take a lifetime to unpeel all the layers. Unfortunately, nobody is enjoying the process of peeling layers. They want things pre-peeled in multiple quantities, ASAP, chop chop. Clearly your wide-eyed romantic view has zero place in the world and you are definitely not meeting a lot of people on the same page. Even though you're off the apps, you cannot escape app culture and the way it's poisoned the brains of so many people. Romance feels AI generated right now. It has the same soulless, scripted, and predictable spirit as AI writing does. It makes you sad that those big, beautiful romances have been replaced with convenience and comfort. You feel very lucky that you remember a time before this, and even luckier that you have had incredible love stories. Your life has been full of them, and you have more to come, but you are not going to let AI write the next chapters.